Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is for all my fellow researchers who have either completed their PhD or who are about to finish their PhD and who are willing to do postdoc in India itself. Now is the time when you can apply for this particular fellowship and you can get 80,000 per month as a fellowship grant. Along with that you get a lot of areas and other benefits. So we'll be talking about that in detail in this particular video. This is about a very reputed fellowship in India called as National Postdoctoral Fellowship or in short we call it NPDF and this is a very reputed fellowship and uh, it is the time when you can apply for it. So I'll be talking about all the things required for this particular fellowship, how you can apply and some very bonus and important tips which I'm going to share with you. So stay till end of this video. First of all, let me tell you. Uh, that this particular fellowship is active currently when you are watching this video and when I am uploading this video and uh, you should if you are willing for it please do hurry up and apply for it okay what are the things needed for that let's talk about it so I'll take you to the website and we'll discuss everything in detail one by one All right so this is the official website of ANRF I will give you a link to reach out to this particular page in the description of this video this is Anusandhan National Research Foundation which is an initiative by government of India to encourage research in India. All right. Now this is for NPDF, which I was talking about. The objective of this fellowship is to uh, aim to identify a young and motivated researchers and provide them support so that they can do research in their frontier areas. Let's talk about eligibility because that's more important. And let's look upon each and every point one by one. First thing is that you should be Indian citizen. The second thing is that you must have obtained PhD md ms and those who have submitted their phd or uh, thesis they are and waiting for their award or degree they are all also eligible to apply so in case if you have submitted your thesis your defense is not yet done or you are waiting for that particular degree at the end you can still apply for it okay the upper age limit for this is 35 years at the time of submission and uh, there will be five years of relaxation to the candidates who belong to scst or obc physically challenged or women candidate. So if you belong to any of these, then you have five years of relaxation over that. NPDF can be availed only once per candidate in his or her career. So this is only one time chance when you can apply for it. And it's a very good opportunity actually. And for this, you need someone which we call as mentor. Okay, so you need a mentor who must also have a, a regular academic research position i'll talk about that a little later because things have been explained about mentor and what and you should hold phd degree and, and the mentor should hold phd degree in science or engineering the mentor shall not have more than two anrf or npdf fellow at a given time so the mentor has also a limitation the mentor will be someone who is going to take uh, responsibility of your who is going to hire you in his or her lab so they should not already have two or more uh, NPDF fellow. Okay, that's for the mentor. Uh, applicants for NPDF, SRG or EMR can submit their proposal once in a calendar year. That's what it is mentioned. Okay, so the nature and duration of the support. So this can be done by, at, by any academic institution and uh, uh, the fellow will not be allowed to work with the PhD guide or co-guide. So if you have done PhD under some supervisor, you cannot join as npdf in the same lab okay okay you have to choose or you have to find some other mentor you cannot do in the same uh, like lab okay and it is normally not availed at the same department also so if let's say you have done your phd from let's say university of delhi so and uh, uh, department of chemistry from there so you cannot apply for npdf in the same department okay uh, try to avoid that and try to apply in some other institute okay and some other department Fellowship is purely temporary assignment and is tenable for a period of two years. So you are going to get this position for two years and this is a temporary position as it is mentioned. The fellowship amount is 80,000 per month plus applicable HRA. Okay, so that's a very good amount which you are going to get for the next two years if you are doing a PDF uh, through this particular NPDF program. And uh, also uh, rupees 50,000 per month plus HRA for the candidate who have submitted their thesis, but the PhD degree is not awarded. So in case if you are someone who has submitted your thesis, but your degree is not awarded. So till the time your degree is not awarded, you will be getting 50,000. And once your degree is awarded, then your fellowship is going to increase. 
Research grant is also provided of 2 lakh rupees per annum. It's a very good amount, a decent amount of research grant of 2 lakh per annum and overheads of 1 lakh per annum is also provided. Now, this research grant can be used for minor equipment, consumables or contingency at the domestic level and there is no provision of providing research personal support under this scheme and this is also not eligible to receive any other fellowship from the government or non-governmental source. So, if you are NPDF fellow, you cannot apply for any other fellowship during the time when you are NPDF fellow. Okay. Uh, the fellow must seek a consent of ANRF if he or she intends to be away from the implementing institute. So, if you are going away for a particular time, uh, so in that case, you have to inform. So, these are some regulation which are given. All right. Now, what is the selection procedure? So, the selection procedure is basically based on uh, like you are going to apply for it. So, the applications are actually active currently. You can apply by going to these websites. I will show you how you can do that. Then along with that application, you have to also give a research proposal highlighting the objective of research that you are going to do. Now, in case if you do not have a research proposal, don't worry. You have to first find out, okay, you know your field. You have already done your PhD. You know your own field, right? You have to find out a mentor and you can decide a proposal along with that mentor also. That also happens. It's very common in the field. You can try that as well. Uh, the applicant must identify suitable mentor under whom the proposed research would be carried out. So, the first step which I would suggest you is to find a mentor. Okay. And I will tell you just after talking about this section that how you can do that. Uh, the selection will be based on the recommendation of expert committee and uh, that's how it is going to do. So, you have to apply using your proposal and a mentor and uh, the selection committee is going to see your proposal and they are going to select certain proposed research which has been submitted over there and then you will be getting a final result where you have to go for an interview. Okay. So, after the selection based upon the proposal, you have also have to sit for an interview and after going through the interview, if everything goes well, you will be given this particular fellowship. Now, how to apply? So, you should go and register to this website. I will show you how to do that. After logging in, you have to fill out these profile details and other details. Uh, all the things are mentioned over here. Okay, What are the things and research plan and other things you have to fill over here. You have to upload it in a form of single PDF file and you have to make sure that your proposed mentor is registered to the system. So, the first step which I would suggest for this fellowship is to find out a mentor. Now, how to find out a mentor? Okay, it is very important to know. See, currently if you go to LinkedIn and if you just search, uh, uh, if you just give a, uh, give a keyword search of uh, NPDF fellowship or mentor or host for NPDF fellowship, there are a lot of people who are posting lot of labs, lot of new labs, not of a lot of old labs, they are proposing or they are posting on LinkedIn that they are willing to take NPDF fellows. Okay. A lot of pro, uh, like I only have seen a lot of posts on LinkedIn till now. So, based upon your area of interest, let's say you, you are working on biosensors or let's say you are working upon nanosciences or let's say you are working upon um, supramolecular chemistry or something. So, try to find out a mentor who is in the same field, write an email to them that what are like apply, like write an email to them with your CV and tell them that you are interested to work in their lab and you uh, like uh, ask them if they can be your mentor and uh, what are the things that you are going to bring on the stage that also you have to mention in the email. So, if you are writing to a particular mentor, let's say you want to work on the in the field of biosensors. And there is a lab professor X who is working on biosensors already and he has posted that he is willing to take NPDF fellows. Write an email to him that I like you have done so and so work in this field. This is your CV and you know these and these techniques and uh, you want to join his lab as an NPDF fellow. And that's how uh, that particular professor is going to get he is going to see your mail and he might respond to you that yes, you can consider me as mentor or whatever he is going to respond to you. Once you get a affirmative response from a mentor that yes, they are ready to mentor you, then you can start filling this form. You have to be quick in applying for mentorship because the last date for this application this year is 30th of June. We are expecting the date to be extended a little bit, but don't worry about it. You have like two weeks. So two weeks are enough. Within one week, you can apply. Uh, you can ask for mentors or you can ask for the mentors. If you get a mentor, then you can discuss about a proposal. If you have something in mind, 
well and good if you don't have you can discuss out with the mentor itself and you can come up with a proposal and then you can submit the application form okay so the first step is to find a mentor it is very 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 important let's say you do not find anybody on linkedin with your area of interest in that case what you have to do search for labs search for people in india who are working in your field and write down email directly to them asking if they can be your mentor okay because this is very crucial step you have to ask people you have to be open you have to ask a lot of people that whether they can be your mentor for npdf fellowship or not and people happily take uh, npdf fellows that's because uh, npdf is going to bring a lot of uh, experience they are also going to bring a lot of like funding of their own so the professor or the lab does not have to worry about your fellowship and all so they are happy to take npdf fellows okay so it's a very uh, i would say it's a very good opportunity to get into pd uh, post doctor uh, post doctoral position in india that's because if you qualify for this you are bringing your own fellowship you are not uh, going to depend upon the lab funding and other things okay so yeah labs usually consider these people so try to do that and uh, once you get your mentor then you can go ahead with the steps uh, which are mentioned on the website the general documents which are required over here are your bio data basically your cv uh, the template is also here you can fill out using this template then your age proof certificate that will be basically your 10th certificate uh, basically the proof of your date of birth then qualification certificate your phd certificate basically and then category certificate if it is applicable undertaking certificate by the applicant again the template is over here uh, endorsement certificate by the mentor or the host institute that template is again here this will be filled by your mentor uh, your short cv of the mentor okay the mentor's cv basically uh, cv of the mentor this is the template which is over here and plagiarism undertaking which you might have along with your cv right uh, sorry along with your thesis so in your thesis you might be having plagi plagiarism undertaking their template is again here you can download it and uh, then few things are here that uh, if any fellow wishes to terminate the fellowship they have to inform anrf through the mentor and why they have done that and all the other things uh, leave is over here that anrf pdf is entitled to leave as per the rule of host institution how many leave the host institution applies or provides you participation in scientific workshop held in india or abroad will be treated as on duty so if you are appearing for a workshop that is not going to be considered as a leave okay maternity leave as per government of india uh, instructions issued from time to time would be available to female candidates in all the category there are different faqs frequently asked questions you can go through this website and you can look upon most of your answers are already done here okay i mean most of your questions are already taken over here as those as it is so this is a very good opportunity i would say if you want i can make a detailed video on how to approach a mentor or how to ask a mentor for that or how to write an email and all the other things but I, but i believe that you guys are smart enough of doing that those things of your own please start applying it if you have not done it yet start uh, sending emails to different people different people of your field asking them for mentorship and once you get affirmative response please start filling it it's a very good opportunity especially if you are someone who is looking to uh, like for a postdoc position and you are looking for that in india itself then it's a very good uh, like time and very good opportunity to utilize the next two years uh, with a good amount of fellowship as well so that's it from my side for this particular video and uh, i will uh, see you guys in the next video do let me know if you have any questions and uh, Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.